What's the deal with A4 sheets of paper? This is quite an ordinary one used. If you fold it in half, you get an A5, and this is very standard use throughout the world. The question is, why does it have this exact size? And the answer is simple in the first place. Well, it comes from an A3 sheet of paper, which is double the size of it, which comes from an A2, which comes from an A1, which comes from an A0. But then again, why does the A0 have its standard size? Let's see the answer of this question in this video. Let's take an A0 sheet of paper, which is, let's say it's this size, we have it A0. If we fold it in half, we get a sheet of paper that has the size of A1. We fold it again in half, we get a sheet of paper that has an A2. We fold it again in half, we get an A3, and then the next time we have an A4, which is our sheet of paper. Now, the standard condition of the A0 is that it has an area of A0 is one square meter. The other important topic is that the height of an A0 and correspondingly the width of an A0 have the same proportion in an A1, in an A2, and an A3, and so on. So that means that actually the height of an A0 divided by the width of an A0 will keep the same proportion as in height of an A1 divided by the width of an A1. Let's see what that actually um means. So let's take a sheet of paper again that it's an A0 and we divide it in two and this is actually an A1. If we take this one, let's call this one again an H, let's call this one right here a width, and when we take the A1 and turn it, flip it around, let's see what we have here. So we have the height of a1 actually equal to the width of the A0. And we have the width equals to half of the height of an A0. So let's see what these actually would mean considering this equation right over there. We have the H of A0 divided by the width of the A0 equal to the width which is the actual height of an A1, divided by h over 2. And that brings us to the next step, which we can just uh, multiply diagonally. We have 1 over 2 h square equal w square. Now, the other important aspect here, which we haven't mentioned yet, we put it right here, is that the area of an A0 is 1 square meter. That means that the h of an a0 times the width of an a0 equals 1. And here this means that h times w equals 1. And we can easily uh, put out here the uh, w as being 1 over h. We take this one and replace it um, right here. So we have 1 over 2 h square equals to 1 over h square and that brings us to h to the fourth power equals and we take the other one over there it's two so that means that h equals the root fourth order of two or say two to the one over four power and the width would be one over two to 1 over 4 because we have here the same property. And when we take the math here, we see that this is actually equal to 1.188 and this one right here is equal to 0 0.84. And this is valid for an A0 uh, because for this one we have given the calculation. And this would bring the fact that if we look right here, we see that this h here is divided in half once and then again in half. So A4 has actually these 
two values divided by four. So for an A4, we have the H of an A4 and the width of an A4 equal correspondingly to 29.7. This is centimeters and this is 21 centimeters. And you can take a sheet of an A4 and measure it and you will see that these approximate values you, you will find. This is the reason why the A4 is the standard and that's what makes it beautiful that when you fold it around and you turn it, it looks just like an A4, just that it's um, smaller. That was it for today. Thank you for watching 7 Minutes Math. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you want to see something new. Until next time, have a good one.